Zapadu Slavia! Now that everyone unworthy to watch this was scared away, welcome, brave souls. I am Mountain General, and today, let me take you on a little trip into Imperial Nostalgia, a mod that was suggested by someone in the comments a long time ago. But I wanted to save it for Slav Month. This is the third video of this week and May. So tell me, how are you enjoying recent videos that I released? I am quite literally on my Sigma male grind set. Hey, and if you are watching this and you aren't subscribed, don't be a bitch and slap that subscribe button, there are more videos to come. So you won't miss them, obviously. During World War 1 we have done a massive amount of trolling and got these extra lands out of it. And we are also led by the man, the myth, the legend, Milan Rastislav Stefanik. Gone, but not forgotten. I couldn't forgive myself that edit, he was a man that went too early. Some say it was an accident, some say they shot him down. No matter what, I'm little bit sad now. To get my mood up, I will oppress some minorities because they are causing a lot of trouble in our country. Well, promise democracy to the people because that's a thing that works, right? Also, here is a bit of a lore for the nerds that like to read. Yeah, we stole some land from the Polish. Now the future of our country is here and I won't pick any evil options, oh whoops, no, prolong the state of emergency, oh I didn't want it to do that, guide the affair, no, 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 uh, what am I doing? We are going to base max this campaign, you see, things are about to get spicy here, we now have to shoot down Milan Rastislav Stefanik for the second time, fucking hell, the explosion in Brno and Radola Gaida marches on Brno with 10,000 Slovaks, you see, and it was successful. You see, this is pretty scary because if one national minority could do that, any other can do it too. Nothing really matters, only securing our nation. Now let's send Stefanik on a little plane ride. I'm stalining as fuck, purging everyone that I can. I don't know how about you, but I don't think we have purged Stefanik's clique when we can still use him as our field marshal. Doesn't matter, I'm uh, very fine with it, we need to also improve our economy because that's really important too you know more green numbers better life and the slovaks are wilding but we are in charge calm down i don't know how about you but batya was just making shoes not guns but i'm very satisfied with this as well ah fucking britoids just collapsed the economy for us but you see when you want to improve the economy third it has to crash i think just so the germans know we will fight for our independence, it will be very ugly for them, we will bite even more out of their Reich. There is an economic crisis in the world and Antan still puts sanctions on Germany, pretty based if you ask me. We also can't forget about our economic situation because uh, demographic collapse, nationalist collapse and economic collapse, that combination doesn't sound that good. Expand Slovensky's Borg, gimme gimme, I will recruit every single Slovak into my army. Ah, no more role playing as Stalin I guess. Now I will establish a secret police that will be looking over our citizens if they are drinking enough beer. Now that our watching guys were established, we will match party with the state. Guys, this is not evil at all. Woodse doesn't sound as evil as Führer. It will also remove a barely functioning government. This means that I won't role play as Slovak Republic IRL. Hopefully now all our problems will magically disappear. Probably not. We still need to, you know, fix this little economy thingy and we will also see how um, everything in the world will work out. You know, I don't know where to step first. We need to improve economy, our ethnic tensions and also expand. I will choose expand, of course. I will gamble my country all the way away. Fucking tariffs. This 
all shows you why we need to just destroy all the Germans. Hey Poland, what you looking there? We need to create a bigger Zapadoslavia, you know. Hey Poland, join me, pretty please. Oh no, oh fuck, we automatically declare war on them. I didn't mean to do this, by the way. Oh yeah, thank you, Franz, that you are uh, thinking about me in my worst time. You know, there are a lot of red arrows, but I'm still able to do some nice encirclements. Not gonna lie, this is one stressful clusterfuck of an invasion. Oh yeah, this is just so over for both of our countries for no good reason. You know, autonomy for anyone. Shush. You know, I hope that I would uh, work with the Polish people, but it seems like that we will have to kill them almost all. Oh, kurva match, this were and some good uh, halal uh, Zapadoslavian unity wipes. We are bigger, but at what cost? Don't worry everyone, we will core you very soon. You know, I'm just racing against the time to core all the Polish population before they can blow up my car. Haha, <laughs> now you must feel very silly for damaging all of these factories. It will take a good while to, to repair them all. Now after finding oil with Slovnaft in Slovakia, please don't strike me Americans. We can finally fix our economy after, well, the British all fucked it up. Our southern brothers are just getting eaten by the goulash munching Hungarians. It's time that we demand our south back. Chceme nazad Košice and we will get them. Now what a bunch of idiots. We will attack them right away. We can just jump into their nation while they are not ready. And we can even take a Slavic corridor. This also has been an option for us to attack Serbia, but we won't do that. We will invite Serbia into our faction. The pan Slavism is still alive. For this to complete we still need to be at war with Hungary and uh, yeah, now we will finish them all. This is pretty shit. Now I'm just gonna kill all the Hungarians because of how angry I am at this prescripted shit. Oh never mind, we can still do that after the war. Oh fuck, the Germans just annex Austria, they are coming for me next. Hopefully I can also do some army reforms before the war starts. It's time to suppress some minorities and step on some school emojis. Interestingly, the Germans are going west first without asking for the Sudets. Well, hell. The French people are just getting their asses kicked pretty hard by the Teutons. Our future looks here very bright. Hey France, how are you doing? Holy fucking shit. And the second world war with France just ended. Sad day for the bucket heads. You know this Czechoslovak army core is um, pretty bad for our recruitable population. I just thought that we were based Zapadoslavia won't be basing our whole army on a universe Czechoslovak language. But hey, what can I do? It all checks out for me. And fucking funny financial recovery has no longer any effects and that means that 20% of consumer goods factories were taken from us. That was a, a huge burden. But not as big as Joe's mama. Oh no, they done goofed. The France is having a civil war. North versus South. Now we will conscript all the Germans. We will put them into a good use. Now I would fully conscript them, but that takes from our core territory defense and we can't even sacrifice a little bonus. We are living in such desperate times. Now we will go for protect the homeland because it gives us nice land forts for free but this sucks a fat cock because we will be locked from the good doctrine, the superior firepower. I always hate when I have to, you know, choose shit. Why can't I just get land doctrine bonuses on every doctrine but whatever. Also here I don't get one thing, why is this fortifying a Sebastopol when we do not even own this territory? There's some sketchy shit going on here. Uh oh, shit is about to get ugly really soon. Now German Reich demands our territories and well, uh, we won't give them anything. Mr. Adam Dressler can suck my dick. But I don't know which France will stand for us when they have, well, their own problems in their colonies and communist France. They won't help us. I hope that my army is ready because my forts are more than ready to massacre some Germans. And here they come, I say, bring it on Germany. And they aren't even trying. 
time that's good they are scared of us because we can drink more beer than they can ever even conceive now as you can see by very simple pushing we were able to cut these all divisions away from the mainland Germany and they will all die slow but painful death this is like what good 30 to 40 German divisions just taken care of like that well hell I don't know why but my divisions are running out of organizations so fucking fast this might be a little problem later on through power of friendship and oppressing the minorities we are able to you know massacre a lot of enemy troops oh no 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 don't tell me that you are trying to escape from the wrath of Zapadoslavia we will just catch you all and put into our pokeballs that means forced labor in Zapadoslavian POW camps the Germans are getting their asses kicked by me and they decide to declare war on Belarus why would they even do that I am slowly but surely advancing through the German lines it is painful because they have a fuck ton of soldiers and my divisions are um, pure shit little bro still thinks he can win a war against the unstoppable wrath of Zapadoslavia no mercy, no nothing, no shall pact uh, POWs for us today. And as our brave soldiers go to Berlin and onwards, this just doesn't look that good for the Germans after all. Even though they have a lot of allies, bigger army than me, they can't do shit about it. They are just sending their people to die on my shores. Oh yeah, this is where they came to die in Dresden, baby. You know, this is some uh, family friendly PG clean fun the best micromanagement war ever i'm just clicking and right clicking this is my click and point adventure featuring zapadoslavia <laughs> As you can see I'm just concentrating on everything that I do and I'm doing pretty good I would say. As the war reparation for this war Germans will be brewing me a beer for the next 100 years, maybe even 1000 if I'm thirsty enough. Update on the war, the Germans will scream in agony from this big encirclement. We just have to somehow close it. Oh my goodness, there is so many Germans just closed and trapped without any hope of ever returning home. This division spam is just, um, well, not very good. I am slowly dying inside, but uh, we are winning and that's the important shit. I got a little suspicious feeling that we have trapped most of their army in a round of Vienna. Now they just can't even put more divisions on this front. I'm just saying saying that all but I'm not complaining I'm just very happy that Zapadoslavia is now a Slav state I have never noticed this change holy moly guacamole there is just so many fucking Germans in they are like an insects always a lot of them and it's hard to get rid of them truly fucking trillions have to die for me to finish this war like two million Germans down and they still don't want to capitulate this is not a fun war not at all I'm just trying to push but I think I have already killed most of my population for this pointless war well it isn't pointless for me but for the Germans it for sure is. Those Germans really thought I would just give them the Sudetenland. Nah bro that was just a big mistake on their part of course. You know I'm always asking the most important questions how many more Germans can we kill? And it seems like that we have to just kill them all after all. Lord please hear my prayers. Give every German soldier that is fighting against me big explosive diarrhea so we can finish this war very soon. Amen. I have completed the final collaboration government and all the Germans just shitted themselves. You know where two retards fight? 
the third one wins. It's time that we reclaim some land for Serbia as well. Our Serb bros will be bigger at the end of this war. I don't know about you, but this is a nice vacation spot. We are just cutting through the Italians like as if they were a pizza. Yep, this is another of those big encirclement wars. Honestly, I love this the most. You know, it is ridiculous. I don't know what is up with the whole organization in this mod, but to this style it took me few months to push. This is just like the good old first world war. And onwards we will try to push even more. But this is not fun, not even a single bit. Here in Italy it will be here for a long time. So I have a bright idea to invade Bulgaria instead. And hope that this will go down better than our previous conflicts and oh fuck oh shit this mod is pretty bad no matter what divisions i use i always run out of the organization so fucking fast honestly i now don't fucking understand how i was able to beat those germans mods like these where you lose all of your organization in just few seconds shouldn't be played past 1936 just look at my beefy tanks that i'm using this should be just very helpful but it seems like that it's not as i was barely able to push one tile into bulgaria a great success for zapadoslavia yeah so this war is just bad because everyone will pointlessly lose a lot of lives this might be the worst brother war that i have ever witnessed in my life I'm truly sorry Bulgaria. You know I have truly stopped caring how many people I will lose so here are my suicidal paratroopers. Now what the fuck they don't want to even die. You know I have been thinking how is this even possible when I have already killed almost all Bulgarians while they are on scrapping the barrel. I mean I'm also on scrapping the barrel but I also have fuck ton of factories they have like 6 or 7 of them and this just shows you the Bulgarian Bulgarians are the strongest people on this planet. Also the transport planes and paratroopers are completely busted. Oh no, Serbia just left my faction I created. A big fucking coding error. Now my forces will just get massacred, oh what the fuck. This just ain't good. This is all Serbian fault. Yep, a Serbian fault. This made uh, war with Bulgaria a bit easier. And we are still not done yet with them, oh my lord. Have mercy on my mind. Nope, this is the same old bad shit. You know, I admit it, I'm not the best Hearts of Iron 4 player, never even said it about myself, but this seems a bit ridiculous that Bulgaria killed 3 million people from me. This mod needs a lot of fucking fixing. I had to literally take every single little tile to end this. Fucking kill me. Now I just hope that this invasion goes according to my plan for my mental health sake. Now let's hope that this landing on the Italian boot will be enough to secure us a long deserved wanted victory. Yes, victory of Zapadoslavia is non-negotiable. The goofy uh, Italians cannot stop me. Oh humanity, what are those Zapadoslavians doing? It's called somewhat losing your cool. Bongo bongo, all Italian POWs ended up in Slavic Congo. Our Slavic state is made out of Czechs. They are only about that beer, sex and beer. Slovaks, they only steal cars. And Polish, they say kurva watch all day. Also, this is a Czech corridor to the sea. It was a real thing, look it up. We have created a strong Polish Medzimoji faction that ruled the entire Central Europe. So yeah, tell me in the comments if you have enjoyed this yet another Slav Month video and get ready for some more. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are are in the description and a special thanks goes to Razonon for being the highest channel member.